something on Pluto is moving. NASA never released the full video, only a few still images were made public. But when those images are carefully compared, something unsettling appears. A vast plane of nitrogen ice changes its shape within just 72 hours. This is not an illusion. It is a form of geological activity we do not yet understand. Even stranger, scientists have discovered red material on Pluto's surface. It is not rust. It is not mineral dust. It is a complex organic compound known as tholins. On Earth, tholins are considered precursor materials for life. That means Pluto may be hiding the raw ingredients for life itself. And this is not even the most disturbing part. In 2019, scientists analyzing spectral data discovered methane actively circulating in Pluto's atmosphere. At minus 223 degrees Celsius, methane should be completely frozen unless there is a heat source warming it from below. Where that heat comes from, no one knows. Pluto was supposed to be a frozen corpse, a world that has been dead for 4.6 billion years. Its interior should have gone cold long ago. Yet data from the New Horizons spacecraft tells a very different story. Pluto's geological surface is only about 10 million years old. In planetary terms, that is the age of a newborn. This means some unknown energy source is still keeping Pluto alive. And whatever that energy is, it may force us to rewrite what we know about the solar system. To understand how shocking this is, we need to go back to 1930. A 24-year-old astronomer named Clyde Tamba discovered a faint point of light at Lowell Observatory. No one knew then that this object, later named Pluto, would be stripped of its planetary status 76 years later, and no one imagined it would become the most mysterious world in the solar system. Pluto's orbit is bizarre. It is tilted 17 degrees, swaying through space like a drunken wanderer. One full orbit around the sun takes 248 Earth years. Since its discovery, Pluto has not even completed half a revolution. Even more strangely, its orbit crosses Neptune's path. At certain times, Pluto is actually closer to the sun than Neptune, like a rebellious child cutting through the orderly line of planets. When Pluto was demoted in 2006, many people felt it was treated unfairly, but the truth is harsher than demotion. Pluto has only one-sixth the mass of Earth's moon. Its diameter is just 2,370 kilometers, smaller than the United States. It cannot clear its orbital neighborhood, a basic requirement for planet status. Just as scientists were ready to close the case, New Horizons delivered a shock. Pluto is not dead its heart is still beating. That heart is the Tomba Regio, a vast region over 1,600 kilometers wide. Its western half is known as Sputnik Planitia. This plane is covered in nitrogen ice several kilometers thick, yet it contains almost no impact craters. In a solar system that is 4.6 billion years old, that should be impossible, unless the surface is constantly renewing itself. Calculations show Sputnik Planitia is no more than 10 million years old. In geological time, that is essentially yesterday. Even more unsettling are the geometric patterns covering the plane, giant polygons 20 to 30 kilometers across, like a carefully designed grid. Scientists later realized what they were seeing, nitrogen ice slowly convecting, like boiling water, except the boiling point here is minus 223 degrees Celsius. Pluto's mountains are just as unbelievable. The Norgay Mountains rise up to 3,500 meters, comparable to the Rocky Mountains. But these mountains are not made of rock. They are made of water ice. Under Pluto's extreme cold, water ice becomes harder than steel, forming the foundation of entire mountain ranges. Their peaks are coated with frozen methane, sparkling faintly in the weak sunlight like powdered diamonds. The very existence of these mountains is a mystery, Building structures this large requires enormous geological energy, energy a body as small as Pluto should not possess. But the greatest mystery lies in Pluto's atmosphere. It is incredibly thin, only 100,000th the density of Earth's atmosphere, yet it extends up to 1,600 kilometers into space. Even more strangely, the atmosphere is escaping. About 500 tons of gas are lost every second. At that rate, Pluto should have become an airless vacuum long ago, yet it has maintained an atmosphere for billions of years. 
In 2015, New Horizons captured backlit images of Pluto's atmosphere. They revealed a thin blue halo, blue for the same reason Earth's sky is blue, small particles scattering sunlight. But behind that beauty lies another secret. Scientists detected complex organic molecules in the atmosphere, including ethylene, acetylene, and hydrogen cyanide. Under ultraviolet radiation, these molecules form tholins, the reddish organic compounds coating Pluto's poles and creating massive crimson regions. Phalons are believed to be precursors to life. On early Earth, similar compounds eventually led to living organisms. This suggests Pluto may preserve primordial material from the very beginning of the solar system and possibly clues to the origin of life itself. Even more astonishing discoveries lie beneath the surface. By analyzing gravitational data from New Horizons, scientists suspect that about 100 kilometers below Pluto's crust, there may be a liquid ocean. Its volume could exceed all of Earth's oceans combined. But how can liquid water exist at minus 223 degrees Celsius? The answer may be ammonia, acting as an antifreeze, allowing water to remain liquid at extremely low temperatures, enough perhaps to support some form of life. Pluto has five moons. The largest, Charon, is 1,200 kilometers wide, nearly half the size of Pluto itself. They orbit so closely that they are tidally locked, forever facing each other like eternal dance partners in the dark. Charon's North Pole contains a massive red region called Mordor Macula. It formed when methane escaping from Pluto froze on Charon's surface and was transformed by cosmic radiation into tholins. This exchange of material proves the Pluto system is still active. But Pluto's greatest secret may lie in its violent past. Scientists believe Pluto may have formed from a colossal collision between two ancient bodies. The energy from that impact could still be trapped inside Pluto today, sustaining its subsurface ocean and driving its geological activity. This collision theory also explains Pluto's unusual moons and its extreme orbital tilt. In 2019, computer simulations revealed that if Pluto truly has an underground ocean, it may even have its own system of currents, transporting heat upward and driving the convection of nitrogen ice on the surface. This suggests Pluto may possess a complete circulation system, much like Earth, except here, nitrogen and methane replace water vapor. The most staggering realization is this, Pluto may not be unique. Beyond Neptune lies the Kuiper Belt, home to thousands of similar icy worlds. Many of them may harbor subsurface oceans, complex organic chemistry, and perhaps even life. Pluto is merely the first window into this frozen frontier. After its flyby, New Horizons continued deeper into space. In 2019, it passed Orokov, a snowman-shaped object formed from two fused lobes proving once again that Kuiper Belt objects are far more active than we once believed. They are not dead chunks of ice, but worlds shaped by complex geological and chemical processes. New Horizons is still traveling today, moving at 14 kilometers per second toward the edge of the solar system. On board are the ashes of Clyde Tombaugh, the man who discovered Pluto but never lived to truly see it. In death, he has become the farthest traveling human in history. His remains will drift through space forever, bearing witness to humanity's exploration of the cosmos. Pluto teaches us one final lesson, never underestimate any world, even one that has been demoted, even one that lies in darkness, even one that appears lifeless. Beneath the frozen surface may lie secrets capable of changing everything we know, quietly beating on the edge of the solar system, waiting to be discovered.